welcome back to today's video so this is what we have and this is what we're going to try and install first off though we do have a problem again obviously this is the side that goes this is your uh, light engine they call it and that obviously is supposed to fix into there via one of these that goes into there screws down and then like a uh, hose connection this piece goes on the fibers and then that screws on to obviously this tightens it down clamps it down and holds it in place so that obviously it doesn't keep slipping out because at the moment that isn't as wide as that so there's plenty of room to move around so what i've got to do is wrap tape around here sort of bulk it out a bit so that's that's the first problem and then we can start getting on to um, actually installing this which will be a lot of fun um, as you can see I've got to make up a little bit of uh, bit of room wrap it in electrical tape and we should be good to go right guys I've actually managed to do it um, hell of a lot of electrical tape there as you can see uh, don't judge me and that is pretty much at the end so it's nice and flat there which is actually what the instructions were calling for so anyway on here i was quite impressed actually on there um if you scan that with uh your qr scanner it brings you straight to the app so then uh same with that one that does it as well um you can control all of this with the uh, an app on your phone as well as uh the controller but anyway what we've done is got the tape on there the hair in my mouth um so now i'm going to take this down to the car plug that into there uh, plug that into there and plug that into the car so that is what we're going to try and do right so i'm just setting this up um i'm gonna plug into the cigarette lighter and uh hope this works the cool thing about it is it's got the switch on it so if you don't want it on all the time you don't have to i don't know if i'm going to hardwire this or if i'm going to use this um i'm not too sure just yet but We got lights, so something's working, that's for sure. Oh, oh, didn't mean to look into that, but yeah, that's working. So, it's really hurt my eyes. <laughs> Should have been more careful where I was pointing that. Oh, that's bright. So, moment of truth, guys. That goes in there. Let's tighten the screw up a little bit. Now, all being well, when I turn this back on, all the fibres at the end of here should light up. So, yeah, that's what we want. But first, I've got to try and take this roof lining out, and I have no idea how it comes out. Obviously, there's a couple of screws all around uh, the headliner for like the um, head head headrests, some visors. The sunglasses holders the grab handles things like that so all those are gonna to have to come out um, and then we'll go from there well guys that was an absolute mission to get out this is the uh, the back and obviously you got like these kind of like wing bits either side I had to fold them inwards and drag it out of the uh, the boot that way mission so now I'm gonna turn it over and then start drilling all the holes everywhere
absolute pain in the ass. The wife had to help me finish it off because my back is killing. Um, cat's now playing with what's left under there, so yeah, nice one fall. Um, just wait for the heat gun, the heat gun, the glue gun to warm up, sorry, and then do all these little dots. Pulled it all through underneath there, so it's all ready to just be uh, glued down. Underneath, guys, obviously everything is all glued up. I'm pretty sure I'll get every single one. So, uh, just thought I'd show you the state of the car inside because I, I didn't really say what, what I did with taking it apart. So, to get, you got these back covers here. I said back, not bat. They cover these bits here, but the seat belts go over them. So you need to remove the seat belts in order to get this out of the way to get the um, headliner out. Same goes with the B pillars there. Same deal, you got the plastic cover which just sits in into there. Um, and they're held on with a T50, your seat belts are. So get the seat belts down, uh, get the seat belts out, get the seats down. And then the way I did it was, I can't remember if I said this earlier, it's been a couple of hours. These side pieces, I had to basically keep folded in and, and bring it out that way so let's try and put that back in there without breaking or ruining it So what I've done here is just like slotted that in to the little groove there. So I've slotted that in and it's just holding the roof liner up enough then. Obviously, same on this side. Um, tuck that under there a little bit, it does help a little bit. Um, so I'll do the same with those bits on the side of the B pillars and then hopefully that will hold the rest of it up. Guys, I tell you what, this has battered me today. It's taken me literally all day and I've still got a few things left to do. So, I need to cut obviously every single one of these strands down uh, right close to the roof lining and uh, obviously connect the module up. In fact, I'll try that now as I haven't yet. Uh, I think as well, I need to extend this. I like the fact that it's on a switch so it's not going to be on all the time so you can sort of turn it off when you want to. Um, so I might try and locate an ignition line so it only comes on when the ignition's on but I'm not sure if I like that or not so for now it's just going to be just going to be with this um, so plug that in no I won't turn that on yet just do the little screw up a little bit oh. <laughs> probably can't see it can you you can see that lighting up yeah, they are. They're lighting up. So, that's good. Very promising. Um, so, let's turn that off. Clip all these down. And then, later on tonight, when it's a bit darker, I'll finish this video off so you can all see it. Hopefully, it looks as good as I hope it does. Right, guys. So, I've come down. Obviously, it's nice and dark now. So, uh, we'll be able to show you exactly what this can do. Obviously on the remote, I forgot to say, you've got a number of different colours there you can see. And then the white buttons down here and the ones across the bottom here are all sort of to different modes. So you can have it like jump, you can have it jump quicker, you can have it fade, you can have it fade quicker, flash. And then you can have it so that it, um, it goes with the music. Obviously I can't show you that because of copyright and stuff, else I would. But it does actually work and it works quite well. On the top here, there's two white, two white ones on the top and that's for brightness. I've found that the higher the brightness, 
the um, more responsive it is to the music. If you have it down dimmer, then it will it won't react as quick. Um, it's almost like a volume button, if you will, which is it's cool. But um, when it's bright, I, I wouldn't drive with it bright. It's, it is too bright. It's like a disco going on. I sort of stepped outside the car to have a look at it, and uh, it was like a party going on in here. But I'm waffling again. And I do apologise. I turn this white light off. Turn this on and uh, you'll be able to see what it's like. <laughs> there we go guys, let's go through different colours. Obviously main colours are red, that's like a green and a blue. Uh, it does have a white as well, if uh, you press it again it gets brighter, press it again it goes back dull. It only happens with the white. So we've got a jump, that gives me a bit of a headache jump a bit slower don't really like that either but we've got like a fade where it just fades between the colours and then the other fade it goes a little bit slower um, which it's a lot better if you um, if you just want to set like a little mood in the car or whatever or like I say you can um, this one was flash which again I don't really like because that's going to give me a headache if I, if I have it on but uh, to turn that off just stick to a colour. There we have it guys, that is the Starlight roof lighting installed in the Astra. Let me know down below what you thought, whether you thought it was good or not, and uh, I will see you next time.